What's up creators, it's your boy, Mad Mike. And on today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some custom canards, canards, diffusers, splitters, whatever the heck you wanna call these things. I'm gonna show you guys how to make them at home for under 40 bucks, so stay tuned, check it out. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Ha, dare to be you. This world is just a canvas to our imagination. Turn a figment of your mind into creation. Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna make today are some canards, canards, whatever these things are called. Comment below if you guys know the correct name for these on this project car, which is a 1985 Pontiac Fiero, which is gonna be a replica of a Koenig Testarossa. I'm going all show, no go. Right now it's got a stock V6 motor in the back with a four speed manual transmission. So this is basically a go-kart the way it sits right now. But what I'm gonna turn it into in the future, I'll eventually do probably a turbo swap or maybe a supercharger. So adding this chassis mount wing just for looks. Adding, you know, this aero stuff on the front here, it's just for looks. I love customizing cars and I love fabricating. So this is gonna really add to the front end of this car. Once I get the final paint on the car, it'll all come together. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make these into aluminum, carbon fiber, whatever your material is. I'm basically gonna show you how to lay out your templates, design uh, a shape that you like, and how you can mount them. So let's go ahead. We'll start off by showing you how I got to this point and I'll catch you guys up. Over on the workbench here, I got some materials and some tools that you're gonna need to get the job done. So what you need for material, in my case, what I ended up getting was some about 1 16th, two millimeter thick aluminum plate. I got two sheets of that. And those were only, let's see if we can see the price here. Focus, 4.99 Canadian. So that's cheap for some good aluminum. So what we're gonna do is take our templates that you can see are on the car down there. And we are going to lay our templates out onto our material. And we're gonna to need to cut this material. There's a million ways that you can go about cutting this material, whether it's metal, aluminum, whatever it is that you guys got. ABS plastic works too. You're gonna to need some tools. So for tools, you can use a jigsaw with the correct blades. So you could do it with a grinder, jigsaw, and then I'm gonna be using a bunch of files as well to deburr my parts, clean them up. All right guys, so to get to the point that I'm at now, which I have some templates made out of cardboard mounted to the front of the bumper, what I started off with was some um, just regular paper. I took that paper and a pencil and I just kept tracing out the outline of my bumper, the contoured shape. It's gonna be different for all cars. It's gonna take you some time. There's a million ways you could do it. In my case, I just folded up some paper against the side of the car, traced it out, kept trimming it till I got a really good fit of this shape here. Once I had that shape, I then laid out how I wanted my splitter to look and how long I wanted it to be. Once I traced that out and I kind of held it up to the side of the car and I liked the looks of it, I went ahead, grabbed some cardboard, and I cut out my splitters out of cardboard. A little bit thicker, a little bit more rigid, so I could go ahead and tape these onto the side of the bumper and see how they look, just to get a visual, right? So we have these, we'll go over to the front bumper now. So we have three canards mounted to the front of this bumper right now, temporarily. And what I ended up doing was I just started off with this upper one right here. I taped the first one on and then I spaced down the second one an equal distance and the third one as well so that it's all symmetrical. So you wanna to try to keep your distances as equal as possible. That way by the eye it looks really good as well as this curve is just done by eye right now. I've just bent the cardboard up taped it in place and that gives you a really good idea of how these are gonna look on your front bumper without wasting your material and wasting your time. That should give you guys an idea of what I'm after. So basically I got my diffuser and then I just kind of mocked up two little tabs here which I'll then bend down and end up drilling a hole here and a hole there. Um, but what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna grab some paper, cut out these little tabs to see if that's gonna be enough meat to help hold this bracket on, as well as aesthetically if it looks good. Cause I might need to extend these a little bit longer. 
um, just to make them visually look a little bit better. But the thing is, you gotta remember these are gonna be bent like this. So if you carry these lines over too far, you won't be able to bend your part and bend this tab 90. So as long as your part is bent like this, you see how I have about two inches up at the top and the bottom of flat space. So that should work out pretty good, but I'm just gonna mock it up with paper just to make sure it looks good and it works. So there is my template with my tabs. What I did was I just cut a sample one out of paper and I drilled my hole. That way I can hold it up to the ones on the car and see how it looks and make sure that it works. I just painted it green so you guys can see it against the white body of the car. So let's go ahead, see if this size tab will end up working. I'll try to set the camera down somewhere. Once you go up and under like that, and that way you'll bolt it up through the bumper down here. So aesthetically, if you were looking from the front of the car, this kind of angle looks really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can see that at all or not. And then, so I'll do one there. I might end up rounding off this back corner a bit though because I don't like looking at that sharp edge. So that's one thing I'm gonna change is this back edge here. I'm gonna end up rounding that over. I think it'll look a little bit nicer. Uh, and then the one in the back, let's see how that one there fits. And then I'll have one at the back there. So that looks pretty good too, but I'm running into an issue where I'm running over top of this little lip. So what I could do is move the splitter in this way here, which I don't know if I wanna do that or not. That works pretty good. Okay, I like that. Let's go with that guys. One at the back, one at the front, and I'll just round that back corner off slightly. Now you can see I got my canard all cut out of the paper with my tabs. I ended up designing them a little bit differently and giving them some more angle. So what I'm gonna do now is bend these two tabs up 90 and go over to the front of the car. We have our original paper template. Then we have our cardboard templates, which we bent into our shape with our tabs. Then we finalized it by using this last piece of paper with our tabs to make sure that everything works well. You could do one of two things. You could cover this up with masking tape so you don't scratch it. In my case, I'm gonna end up probably powder coating or painting these afterwards. So they're gonna get sanded so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just gonna mark it right onto my aluminum and cut them out. Bob's your uncle. Template laid out, bend lines, ready to cut it out. All right guys, so I have my material with my canard laid out onto the aluminum. What I'm gonna wanna do now is grab a clamp. And when I put it down onto my work surface, I'm gonna wanna clamp it down. That way when I'm using my grinder or my jigsaw, it's not bouncing around and falling on the ground or anything like that. I can get a nice clean, straight line, stay focused and get a good cut. Safety first guys, put on your safety glasses and earplugs. Anyways, I'll end up bending these tabs 90, and then I'll take my file and sander and clean it up, deburr the whole part, so you don't cut yourself or cut anybody else while you're working with it. And once I get this one done, and I'll mock it up on the front bumper, I won't bore you guys with the other one, two, three, four, five that I have to do. So I'll show you guys the process of doing this one. I'll show you how to mount them and all that stuff, but I won't bore you with showing you how to cut out all six. that it's all been deburred is I'll stick it into the vise, bend these two tabs 90, and then I can bend the arc to the canard, the arc to the canard, and mount it to the front bumper and see how it looks. Yeah, 
that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna grab my work piece, and grab my hands, and just kind of keep arcing it until I get that nice curve that I like. Check this fit out, guys. This piece, look down the side, boom. You can see how you got a really nice gap. Once this bracket is painted black or wrapped in carbon or whatever, it'll look even better and hide that. But yeah, that contour blends in perfectly like my templates do, no matter where I move it on the front here. And if you check that out, you can see that how the tabs aesthetically look good. I have my mark on my workpiece. I'm gonna grab a center punch and I'm gonna mark that because I don't want my drill to wander. There you have it. Probably won't focus, there it is. Two holes, tabs are bent. I got my rocker profile and I got my shape. So guys, this is the first one all complete. Let's go ahead and make the other five and we'll be in good shape. This one piece here took me over an hour, probably an hour and a half. It's hard to do the fabrication and the filming and the editing. It's a lot of work. So film this piece could have taken me probably 20 minutes, half an hour without filming. But because I'm filming for you guys, it took me three times as long. Let's go ahead, bolt on the bracket. All right, creators, it is day two and I have completed one side of the car. I got three brackets all cut out. I'll go ahead and show you guys now. Bam, baby. There you have it, guys. Three aluminum canards, canards, splitters, aero. They look wicked from all angles. You can see the tabs that I put in here, that angle that I gave those tabs looks really, really good. It really, uh, it's a lot better than having a square angle bracket, in my opinion. Take your time and, you know, make it look custom, make it look nice. There's a top view, back view. I'll get you guys a front view here. I'll pull the car out later too. Give you guys a real good look, but check these out. All aluminum, super, super sturdy. Those look awesome. And the distance between here here and on the back edge and all this gapping in here is all accurate, correct, symmetrical. So we got two and a half in between here, three and a half, three and a half, four, four. So let's go ahead and make our template for the holes. We'll transfer that over to the passenger side and then we'll make the other three brackets and then the job will be done. Alrighty guys, we have the driver's side all done. I've got all three of my brackets bent up. The lower ones, I had to add a bit more of an angle because they kind of flare out down at the bottom of the front bumper. I've gone ahead and I've labeled them. One, two, three. So that way if these holes here are slightly out from each bracket, they go exactly where I've drilled my holes on my bumper and everything lines up how it's supposed to. So we got the three for the driver's side all complete. I'll show you what I'm doing on the passenger side right now. I made a template, let's go check it out. Alrighty, so what I'm doing over here is I've already traced a template on the other side and I've punched through my holes to where the holes are on the driver's side. So this template lines up perfectly down low. I have traced it out at the back and this top line here. So it should be identical and symmetrical left and right. So I've gone ahead and just sharpened out these points right here. So that way I've got one already bent up and fabbed up. When I mount these on, they line up with the driver's side. We got the first one on of three. So I'll go ahead and cut out these and bend these up, we'll bolt them on. Then we'll pull the car outside and see if they're all symmetrical. And we'll probably add some black paint to them so they pop it a little bit more and we'll see how it looks. All right, what are you looking at? Ah! This is my brother, Steven, he doesn't like the camera. Bam, look at that, shredder. My brother's gonna film me pulling out of the garage. 
Let's see if we can focus here. There it goes. <laughs> this is my brother Steve. You'll see him around quite a bit. And uh, yeah, if you want to film me pulling the car out, that'd be fucking rad. I got it all, buddy. You look good with those glasses on. Yeah, look at this, old school, eh? You look good with those glasses on. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, let's pull this sucker out. Look at this guys, focus. Oh my God, the thing looks like shredder, man. It's probably pretty hard for you guys to see on camera. Focus. Oh, those things look crazy. I gotta paint them black so they stand out and you guys can see what they look like more like shit off the car. Damn, I'm stoked about that. Say, Steven. What's up? <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. I got the front splitters, canards, canards, diffusers, whatever the fuck you want to call these things. I showed you guys the process on how to build them DIY at home with some simple tools. They're mounted to the car. They look awesome. I'm going to go ahead and paint them black, so I might update you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys next time. I ciao, ciao. Woo!